Hey guys and welcome to the school station. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. This is from the AQHSC Biology 91 paper from the unit Cells and Organization. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. These are the two types of cells and we're going to be looking at the structure of them and what is the difference between these two cells. However, before getting into the video, I would just try, like to do a recap of last lesson. In my last biology lesson, I actually talked about animal and plant cells. So there are two types of cells. There is an animal cell, which are cells that are in animals, including humans, and there are plant cells, there are cells that are in plants, and they make their own food by photosynthesis. I also said in that video that there is actually, these are examples of eukaryotic cells, and I think that it might have been confusing at first, but now I'm going to be talking about what are eukaryotic cells, and how eukaryotic cells are basically, um, like they're actually in the group of animal and plant cells. So, now I'm actually going to be talking about what is an eukaryotic cell. So an eukaryotic cell are cells from eukaryotes that have a cell membrane, cytoplasm and genetic material enclosed in a nucleus. For example, plant and animal cells. So an eukaryote is basically plants and animals. These are basically organisms, okay? And cells from plants and so what we're trying to do is we can substitute eukaryotes for plants and animal. So cells from plants and animals that have a cell membrane, so they have a cell membrane, they have a cytoplasm, and they have the genetic material enclosed in a nucleus. Okay? So if you guys have watched my video, you will know that a nucleus is basically kind of like the brain of the cell, and it controls all the activities of the cell, and it also um, contains all the genetic material inside the nucleus. So, all the time you will see that any cell from plants and animals, they will always have a cell membrane, a cytoplasm, and the genetic material will always be enclosed in a nucleus. And that is basically what an eukaryotic cell is. Now, what is the difference between an eukaryotic cell and a prokaryotic cell, you may ask? Well, a prokaryotic cell are basically cells from prokaryotic organisms that have a cytoplasm surrounded by a cell membrane and a cell wall that does not contain cellulose. The genetic material is a DNA loop that is free in the cytoplasm and not enclosed by a nucleus. Sometimes there is one or more small rings of DNA called plasmids, for example bacteria. So the main difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells are, are based on the genetic material. In eukaryotic cells, the genetic material is enclosed in a nucleus, and I will be talking about DNA and genes a bit later on in this video. But prokaryotic cells actually have the genetic material free in the cytoplasm. So they also have a cytoplasm that is surrounded by a cell membrane, but they also they have a cell wall, which is in plant cells, but it does not contain cellulose. So in plant cells, you realize that they have a cell wall um, and it contains cellulose, but in prokaryotes, the cell wall does not contain cellulose. At the same time, the genetic material is a DNA loop that is free in the cytoplasm. So the DNA slash genetic material is actually not inside the nucleus. It is actually free in the cytoplasm. And I will be showing you guys an image later on about how this looks like. Also, there are sometimes one or more small rings of DNA called plasmids. So they, you would usually have a free... Um, DNA loop in the cytoplasm and they may also have one or more small rings of DNA called plasmids. And an example of um, prokaryotic organisms are bacteria, okay? So a prokaryotic cell may be inside a bacteria, okay? So um, eukaryotes, as I said earlier, are plants and animals and prokaryotes are bacteria. So that's just uh, some examples about the different organisms. So before we actually get to I get to show you guys the prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the DNA and what really genes DNA and how it's enclosed inside a nucleus. So over here, I'm just going to talk about what is DNA. DNA is basically the thing, this kind of like this acid that stays inside and it actually tells us the different characteristics and how the instructions for making a new us, okay? So as I said earlier in my previous video, animal cells are basically cells that stay in animals and us humans we have millions and millions and millions of different types of cells inside our body okay and all of them have a different function and all of them are doing something right now as you guys are watching this video 
So one particular cell, if we just look at one individual cell, all cell, all animal cells have a nucleus, okay? And in these cells, they will always have a nucleus. So over here, this nucleus, they actually have these genetic material. And you may see a lot of these small things, and these small things are called chromosomes, okay? Okay, so these are the nucleus, and they each contain a few chromosomes. The chromosomes actually have inside them DNA. And the DNA, a small section of the chromosome or the DNA is actually a gene, and this is a segment of DNA. So a lot of very, very small genes are very, very, very small, and they're like small packets of information, okay? And, and in the sperm cell, we actually have 23 chromosomes, and in the egg cell, we have 23 chromosomes, and in every single cell, we will have always 46 chromosomes. So in a chromosome, there is basically DNA, and in the DNA, um, the small packets of information, there are genes, and the genes are basically what makes up the DNA, and the DNA makes up the chromosomes, and we have many chromosomes inside the nucleus, and um, every single cell has a nucleus. So we have millions and millions and millions of cells, which means that we have millions and millions and billions of these small genes okay and these are the genetic information that makes us and gives us features like our brown brown eyes uh, your blonde hair um, and all these different features so now that we've actually understood about what is DNA now we actually can talk about the prokaryotic cells prokaryotic cells are smaller than eukaryotic cells an example of prokaryotic cells are bacteria you cannot see individual bacteria with the naked eye. The only way you can see bacteria is by culturing it on an acre plate and growing it to millions of bacteria. So over here we have an example of the prokaryotic cell. This is basically how it looks like. Over here you can see that the DNA is actually not enclosed in a nucleus. In fact, there is no nucleus in a prokaryotic cell. The genetic material is actually free in a cytoplasm. So the first place you can see a DNA is a chromosomal DNA. And this is the main one over here. There's just this huge loop of DNA and it's just free in a cytoplasm. You can clearly see it. The plasmid DNA are basically small loops or rings of DNA. You can also see ribosomes. Um, you can also see ribosomes over here um, that that actually makes protein. And then we have the fimbrae, which is actually not really necessary right now. We also have a slime capsule. And this is actually um, just, you know, it's just to protect. Uh, so it has a protective slime capsule around the outside of the cell wall. Then there is a cell wall to obviously strengthen the cell. There's also the plasma membrane as well as a cell membrane. There's a plasma membrane um, and there's also cytoplasm, which obviously is where all the chemical reactions for life take place. And last of all, there's also a flagella. And a flagella is basically kind of like the tail, which allows the prokaryotic cell to move. So this is basically what a prokaryotic cell is. And you can see that there are huge differences according to the eukaryotic cell, which are the plants and animal cells we have seen in our previous video. And bacteria and pro prokaryotic cells are actually much, much, much smaller than eukaryotic cells. In fact, the reason why you'll never see mitochondria in a prokaryotic cell is because the mitochondria itself is bigger than the prokaryotic cell. And since bacteria, if prokaryotic cells are very small, that means bacteria is also very small. And this is why we can never see bacteria with the naked eye. And we, the only way you can see it is by culturing it and growing it into millions of bacteria. For example, if we leave an apple for a very long time and it rots, we can then see the bacteria from there. But that's when it has millions and millions of bacteria. You won't be able to see a bacteria, just, like a bacterium, just by itself in the naked eye. You will definitely need a microscope. And just to show you guys the eukaryotic cells, I already showed you guys about animal and plant cells, but these are just examples of eukaryotic cells. They obviously have the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the vacuole, the nucleus, the mitochondria, the ribosomes, and you can see that in the nucleus is where all the genetic material is um, kept, so you won't be able to see the genetic material flying about in the cytoplasm. And uh, that's basically the difference between eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells, and uh, we have just learned the differences between them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson and I hope that you've got something out of this. Just as an overview of what we have learned today, we were able to explain what DNA is. 
So DNA is basically um, the thing that makes up the chromosomes and the chromosomes are inside the nucleus and the nucleus are inside the cells. We've also understood what eukaryotic cells are hopefully which are basically cells that have a cell membrane, a cytoplasm and the genetic material is enclosed in the nucleus while in prokaryotic cells the genetic material is actually free in the cytoplasm so you can see plasmids and chromosomal DNA. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if it has helped you and subscribe to School Station for more free science and maths lessons. Bye guys!